Some people think of a mathematical proof as a burden, a burden to go through in order to complete a homework assignment, or a burden to go through in order to convince your colleagues, or even yourself, that um, your, results, uh, your result is correct. Hi, I'm Grigore Roshu. I'm a professor of computer science at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. And I believe that, in fact, proofs are fun. In what follows, I'm going to uh, show you a couple of uh, such fun proofs. The problems I'm going to show you admit very classic uh, proofs by induction, but those are rather involved. What I'd like to show you is alternative fun proofs of these problems. Both problems refer to some sums of numbers. <coughs> the first one is concerned with the sum of all the numbers from 1 to a given n. Okay, And this is well known to be n times n plus 1 by 2. Okay? So the sum of numbers from 1 to 10 is 10 times 11 by 2, which is 55. The second problem I'm going to show you is the, uh, is the sum of um, all the squares of the numbers of 1 to n, from 1 to n, like 1 squared plus 2 squared plus n squared. This is also known, even though it's a bit less known than the other one, and the result is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 by 6. So both these problems, as I said, admit proofs by induction. They are quite elementary. However, those proofs are, um, I would say in my opinion, ugly, and they are not motivating enough for one to like mathematical uh, proofs. Let me show you an alternative proof for the first one, so the sum of numbers 1 to n, which I think is very fun, actually. Let us consider this shape. Okay? So this shape has how many squares? Well, 1 for the first layer, plus 2 on the second, plus 3, plus 4. Now we can imagine that we can extrapolate this to um, a shape of size n. Okay, so this shape has as many squares, or little cubes, as, um, as the sum of numbers from 1 to n. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n. Okay, now let's take another one of the same shape. Okay, so this also has 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n. What we can do now is to sum these two. Okay, so instead of considering the sum of numbers from 1 to n, we consider twice the sum of numbers from 1 to n. When we do that, what we get is a rectangle okay, of this shape. Right? So how many squares do we have here? Well, the area of the rectangle. So n times n plus 1. Okay, so n times n plus 1. So if we put 2 times the sum of numbers from 1 to n, we get n times n plus 1. So obviously, the sum of numbers from 1 to n is n times n plus 1 by 2. Okay? This is a proof, a very nice and simple and elegant proof compared to uh, the proof by induction. Okay, can we generalize this? Can we do a similar proof from the sum for the sum of numbers from one, from the sum sum of squares of numbers from one to n, like one square plus two square plus n square plus and so on? So we can try to generalize the figure that we just saw into such a figure. All right. So how many squares we have here? Well, on the first top level we have one, let's say one squared. <laughs> on the second one. We have 2 squared, because we have 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? On the third one, we have 3 squared, 1, 2, 3, by 1, 2, 3, okay? So it's 3 squared. On the last one, n squared, n by n squared, all right? So this shape has the sum, or the, has as many, as many uh, cubes as the sum of squares, right? So 1 squared plus 2 squared plus, and so on, plus n squared. Recall that the sum of squares is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 by 6. Okay, so trying to generalize the solution from the first problem, we may want to combine six such shapes into a box of size n by n plus 1 by 2n plus 1. Can we do that? Let's see. So this is one shape. This is another shape. You see, this is orange, this is yellow. So this has also as many cubes as the sum of squares from 1 to n. Let's combine them into something that looks like a reasonable shape. All right. So, so far, that's what we've got. Okay. Let's take another one. Now we have three times okay, the sum of squares. Let's see how we can fit it here. Okay. Here it is. All right. Three times. <laughs> can we do more? Let's see. Let's, let's take a fourth one. Mm, how about, let's see, this shape. 
All right. Uh, I don't know if this works. We have to continue to see how it goes. All right. I started getting close to a box, right? <laughs> see now we combined five shapes and we got room for exactly one more here. Let's put the sixth one. And we've got, all right, we've got our box, you see? All right, so we have six shapes, each containing the sum of squares. And the six of them combine into a box, okay, of size, what is the size of the box? Let's see, so recall that each of them has size n, right? So we have n times n plus 1. <laughs> See, the other one. So n times n plus 1 times what's the height of the box? Well, n here plus n here to n plus 1. All right? So n, n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. Right? So the sum of squares is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 by divided by 6. Okay, I hope you believe me that <laughs> this is a much nicer proof than, uh, than the proof by induction. Let me show another proof of the same problem, which is equally interesting, but which may be closer actually to it, the proof by induction. Let's try now to get shapes um, like this, right? combining basically um, six times Okay, six times the square of a certain number, right? So this combines six uh, squares of one. This one over here, okay, as you can see, combines six squares of two. Okay, so this is two squared, two squared. Each color has a certain uh, square, a certain square, and, and two square. How many of them? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is six. This is six times one squared. This is six times two squared, right? Okay. So can we combine them? Very nicely, actually. We can take this one and sneak it inside this one. <laughs> okay, and get a box. Okay, we've got another box now. And what's the size of this box? Well, it's two times three times um, five. Right. So if n is two. This is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. Okay, where n in this case is just 2. Right? Let's keep going. Let's take another one. Okay, this one, this one contains 3 squares of, of, of 3. Or six, sorry, 6 squares of 3. Alright? So this is 1 square of 3, 3 by 3. This is another square of 3, another square of 3, another square of 3, another square, another square. So 6 six different squares of three, all right? And this already contains the sum of all the squares up to two, right? So if we manage to sneak this one inside this one, then we get the sum of all the numbers, all the squares of numbers up to three. So one squared plus two squared plus three squared. Yes, they can be very nicely combined, okay? So, right, so we put everything into one box of size, three, so our, our n is 3 now, 3 times 3 plus 1 times 2 times 3 plus 1. So n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. Okay? I think now the inductive step is clear. Let's take one more. <laughs> and I'll stop here, I promise. Uh, so this has 6 4 by 4s. Okay? So 1 4 by 4 squared. So 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 4 squared. Right, so six times the square of four plus the sum of all the squares of up to three, um, um, six times gives us a bigger box. Okay, it is of size n times n plus one times two n plus one. All right, so therefore the sum of squares from one to n, basically one square plus two square plus n squared is going to be n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 by 6. Okay, so let's deconstruct the proof now. <laughs> okay, to see how they fit. See, in order to fit, we have to uh, to rotate the box. Right, so this is, um, so this box goes like this. 
But the other one goes like like this. Nice, you see how they go? So it's not immediately obvious how, how this proof goes. But it is nevertheless a proof by induction. And a proof which, at least in my case, um, helps me to never forget this formula, <laughs> which is not easy to, to memorize. Okay, thank you. I hope you like these proofs. And uh, you are with me when I say that proofs can be really very fun. <laughs>